Hey everybody, it's Rabbit. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be briefly recapping 2023 and looking forward into 2024. And also we're going to have my very first nuke in the game of War Thunder on display in the background. It was in the M18 Black Cat, which is the premium Hellcat, basically identical to the regular one in the tech tree. Unfortunately, as such happens, I was not recording at the time, so this is actually the replay, and in the replay it doesn't show the nuke going off. So I'll just splice in a nuke going off at the end just for satisfaction's sake, but uh, getting a nuke by killing several king tigers in the black cat is actually pretty satisfying and was pretty fun. At the beginning of 2023, I did a bit of a New Year's resolution to try and teach myself video editing and see if I could legitimately get this channel to grow into a thousand subscribers or hopefully a little bit more. I wasn't exactly optimistic that I could hit the goal, but I wanted to give it my best shot just in case. And well, as you can see, we've actually kind of blown past that pretty efficiently. So that was a pretty good feeling. I'm glad you guys really liked the content. I'm glad a lot of you stuck around to check out my videos again. And I really appreciate all the support you're giving me. I do very much read the comments and when I say in a video that I want you to let me know if you agree or disagree I'm not just BSing you I actually do read the comments even if it's somebody saying I'm completely off base I want to see what other people's opinions are even if that might not necessarily alter my own Additionally, I do also read comments discussing potential vehicle topics in the future or uh, various subjects. And the long story short on that is I do read all of them. I do keep a mental track of all of them. However, it turns out I am still one person trying to do all of this on my own. And this isn't really generating enough income for me to make it a full-time job. So I'm kind of knocking them out as I can do them. So I have those considerations in a folder along with some other projects I'm working on right now. And I will get to them as I can and I can't really make any more guarantees than that. One thing you might also have noticed over the course of the last few months is that you have seen a lot more German and Russian vehicles. I am trying to grind my way through what of those tech trees I don't currently have, both for personal reasons and for content reasons. There are some vehicles that I really wanted to play, but also obviously for content reasons, Germany, Russia, USA are the big three, and missing two of those, uh, or missing large parts of two of those isn't really great. Uh, I do want to expand my knowledge of the game, expand my knowledge of vehicles, and also expand my ability to make content for people on other popular nations. So we expect to see some more content on German or Russian tech trees going forward into the next year, along with some other side projects, although I'm not really sure how well one of them will pan out. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, for the foreseeable future, I will be maintaining the fairly standard vehicle schedule of vehicles dropping at 5 p.m. on Friday afternoon. And this, I find, is actually pretty good for me. Uh, it looks like a lot of you are viewing around the early weekend time, so it seems to work pretty well for a lot of you guys as well. But I am open to trying to reschedule that to new times, because I obviously do make the vehicle, the videos beforehand and then release them, set them to release on a specific time and date. Now, I will occasionally be releasing an extra video, probably a lot of the historical stuff, because that's not a part of the current, the normal like content stream. And the kind of historical IRL vehicles will probably be dropping either Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to keep going back and forth on which, uh, usually about 5 p.m. as well. So keep an eye out for that when it does eventually drop. As it stands right now, I don't really have any plans to increase the volume of content significantly because as I said earlier, it is kind of difficult for me in my current position to do that, but I will evaluate and keep evaluating whether or not that is viable as we go further down. As far as my goals for 2024, uh, it would be nice to eventually get this channel to be a separate source of income that could supplement my current income. Like I can't say that I would necessarily be sad about that, but I don't have any specific goals in terms of subscribership or anything like that. Overall, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and see where it leads me. And that's really the best I can offer. And I hope that's at least good enough for a lot of you to stick around and keep enjoying the content. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy the video. I uh, hope you enjoy the nuke. And I hope you keep watching the channel. Don't get the shoes.